All right, Naima, we do want to let people know they are anticipating big crowds to come out despite the on and off rain that we're having today. So the public viewing, you know, that ceremony is going to start at two o'clock, which is for uh, dignitaries like Governor Kemp in Atlanta, Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms. But we do really want to let the public know that this moment is about them as well to pay tribute. So that first public viewing that is going to be from three to seven, which does include the ceremony from his fraternity brothers of Phi Beta Sigma Fraternity Incorporated, a historically black fraternity. And also the hours have been extended. So you're going to have another opportunity from 830 to 10 p.m. for the public viewing. So three to seven and then 8.30 to 10 p.m. to view uh, Congressman Lewis as, he's, as he lies in state at the state capitol building. We see the procession is making its way through the streets of Metro Atlanta, with the first stop being the Rainbow Crossing there in Midtown. We're giving you uh, multiple images here of Christy, what's taking place. Naima, we're gonna keep you with us here uh, for a little bit as we uh, get ready to watch this procession and the multiple stops as people in Atlanta finally have their opportunity. We've gone from Alabama to DC. Now we're on I-75 here in the city as we are Aisha. welcoming him back. Hi, Naima, yes. Hi, we want to show you guys, are we able to show you guys a live image of people gathering, writing on a big poster board, um, writing tributes yep. for Congressman John we got you. Are you guys able to take us right now? Yeah, we got you, Naima. You're in a yes, double box. So we have about 30. We have about 30 or 40 people at Washington and Mitchell who are gathering outside on a big poster board writing tributes for him. Um, the crowd is small, but everyone is waiting for their moment to write on that board. The board says your bravery and your sacrifice is something that we'll always appreciate, will always be appreciated. Uh, this is their way of honoring good trouble. This is their way of honoring an icon, a legend, an elder, and now an ancestor, and you see people picking up markers to write their tributes. Now, I'm going to try to have a moment to speak with the man in the blue hat because I was talking to him in the middle of my live shots. I was um, having conversations with him and he said he traveled to Troy. He traveled to Selma. He traveled to DC and he just now got back to Atlanta. So this is someone with a heavy heart and a purpose to get the message across that good trouble transformed this nation for the better. And hopefully we can have a moment to talk with him. But as you can see, his kind gesture has attracted a crowd that wants to participate in his efforts to honor a legend. And, um, and Luke Carter is getting a little bit closer so you guys can see exactly what is on that poster board. And Aima, what I love about this so much is the fact that this isn't his original hometown. I wish you could have been able to see the amount of family members that got off that plane and they're going to be able to feel his reach in Atlanta. The family members from Alabama and even loved ones who may, you know, be coming from D.C. This is just really going to be a huge show of support as they ride through Atlanta and see what his impact meant here. Absolutely, and all the sign. The sign also says, "Always remembered, forever our hero." Um, and I'm going to try to hand the mic over to the gentleman. I'm going to stay further away from him, um, but I'm going to try to talk to him so that he can share his story with us, sir. Hey, could hey, we talk you to you live on air? Yeah. How you doing? Could you hold this? Sure. Tell us about this sign and exactly um, what inspired you to do this. Um, it's really, it's, it's really not a sign. If you look in the front and look in the middle, it's a sympathy card. It's the world's largest sympathy card. Uh, my name is Bruce Griggs, and uh, Congressman Lewis meant a lot to me, uh, not only to me, but to all the kids in my youth agency. We've been doing these large, gigantic cards for a lot of people, but nobody who's touched the lives of my kids and the community like Congressman Lewis. I met him 25 years ago when I first started out working in the community, uh, and. Senator Horace Tate, who's my godfather, introduced him to me. And um, Greg Street and I do what's called the Boys to Me and Lock In, an overnight rites of passage. And Senator Tate was like, look, I got somebody who would be great to talk to the kids. That was the first time I met Congressman Lewis. From that time on, he started to invite our kids to, to his office in Washington, D.C. every summer. And so with a person with a heart like his, we need a, a card as big as that. So that's why we're doing this. 
I've been to, if you, I'm bragging about my mask. Look at my mask. I've been to Troy, Alabama. I've been all over Alabama. I've been to Washington, D.C. I just returned from Washington, D.C. And now I'm here in Atlanta. On Friday after the uh, funeral, uh, we're going to make a very, very big announcement about something we're special that we're doing in Congressman Lewis's behalf. Um, if you're interested in trying to help us, look up our information. Uh, it can be under Bruce W. Griggs. What, what inspired me to travel all over? Well, Congressman Lewis had a saying that me and him used to say in private. Uh, the more you know, the more you owe. I owe this to him. Yeah, I, would, I would not be where I am as a, as a nonprofit agency and as an individual without Congressman Lewis being a part of my, what I call my mentoring pool. He was part of the people who made me who I am today. So that's why we're doing this. It's not about me. It's about showing Congressman Lewis some, some love. And look at all the people. Look at some of the stuff that they're writing. It ain't even about me. So, you know, thank you all for giving us some time. All right. And like he said, the more you know, the more you owe. Let me say that again. The more you know, the more you owe. And exactly what that means is he was so inspired by Congressman John Lewis that not only did he make this sign, but he was willing to travel from Alabama, D.C., back to Atlanta to make sure that he's a part of every celebrations of life for the congressman. And that is just something that, um, that you have to be moved spiritually, you have to be moved mentally to want to do that for him. And now he's making an impact in Atlanta with this sign. It is drawing a crowd. Um, and they're writing so many different things. Um, so they're writing their names. They're writing keep the faith. They're writing rest in power. Thank you for all you do. Um, and we're so grateful that you were here in our nation. Keep the faith. Uh, thank you, thank you. It's filled with so many thank yous and condolences because that's the kind of impact that he made in our city, in our nation, and all over the world. Back to you. Naima, thank you. You know, as, as we see Congressman Lewis here traveling, and, you know, we've heard uh, that gentleman talking about uh, the issue of traveling as well, 